today we're gonna build a sheath. Okay, carving is done. So now it's beveling, making this thing look pretty. That looks pretty nice already. I think the next one's gonna be a bear or something. Move away from the serpents. Next up, I'm going to use this little textured edge beveler. beveler. Looks pretty nice. It's going to be the first time I use it. Okay, I think I'm done with that start dyeing this thing I'm just gonna do the edges and then paint the insides and all the stuff it takes forever as you can see I'm dyeing everything black that's gonna look nice I don't know what I'll do the, the color I'll do the serpent I think maybe the same color as uh, the handle the purple heart I don't know if I have purple I definitely don't have purple dye, maybe some acrylic paint, which I found out is acceptable to do. All right, on to painting the uh, dragon thing. So I got purple velvet. This is a little, I'm going to say too happy, so I'm going to mix my own, I'm going to do blue and red. I think that makes purple. We'll see in a second. So I just got done doing side number two. I'm gonna do a full coat of black dye, wipe it off, and then put some Resoline on there. 
and then get ready for the gluing the weld and doing the stitching. Now I don't have a resist, but this came out pretty good. There it is. I'll apply some resiline and uh, get ready to glue the weld, do the stitching and all that kind of stuff. Bring you back when I'm done. Okay, here's a weld. Also just want to give a shout out to um, one of the members of Leatherwork or Leather Crafters on Facebook. Um, I think he either commented on there or on the uh, YouTube page, on my YouTube page there. I don't really like using these punches to do the uh, holes for the stitching because I always get stuck. So he said, well, use some wax or some beeswax or some type of lubrication to uh, lube your tool. You know how I always like lubing a tool. So uh, yeah, it works pretty good, honestly. But glue this welt and um, I'm gonna get it ready for stitching again, like I said, and then I'll bring you guys back when I'm done. I'm not gonna use the same seven ounce leather. I'm gonna use a way thinner one on this one just because I want it to be nice and snug. Now, let her dry for 15 minutes. Right, so before I glue this thing together, I need to figure out where I'm going to be putting the strap. Now, on a normal knife, you would want the strap on this side, because when you pull it out, you don't run the risk of cutting this thing, but we have no choice here. So, I'm going to run the strap over this way, but from the back side, and clip it in, maybe in here by that loop. Yeah, I think that'll work pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Put two holes in. That's the inside. And that's that rivet. It's in. So I use this little thing here to set that, the snap. Just like that. And I'm now busy with the strap. So I'm going to dye this and burnish the edges and uh, get glue everything up, and you know how it goes. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see that clearly, but all my holes line up. Here they are. I'm going to glue this together and start up the stitching. I'm not going to bring you along for the stitching because it's going to take hours. And I do it by hand, which sucks. Finally, it is done. I don't think I've ever rushed so much in my life. You guys might see it in the video. The customer is going to be here in about 5 or 10 minutes. And I just got her done. So. Here's the reveal. This is probably one of my favorites, hands down. I love working with Purple Hearts, pretty good. This thing is insane. As you guys saw, I made my own, so, yep. Here it is, thank you for joining me on this one. Hope you guys like the build of the sheath. Um, this is probably one of my favorites. This came out beautiful. Look at it, and there's just a hint of purple in there. Yeah, if you turn it like that, look at that. That is awesome. I like that too. 
nice and shiny. I covered that in wax and then burnished it.